We don't want the court to resolve this question. We don't want my organization to resolve this question. We want the people to resolve this question. A Nebraska petition to keep tax dollars with public schools is now certified. Voters have said they want this initiative on the ballot and that they want to say and whether or not private schools can receive state funding. Now there's an effort to take the question off the ballot. I'm Hannah McElroy here in Omaha taking a deeper look at a new lawsuit. Latasha Collar, a mother of a Douglas County student, filed the lawsuit. It states her child has benefited from the Nebraska Opportunity Scholarships Act. And Collar is afraid the support our school's petition could jeopardize students like her daughter. The petition is aimed at repealing legislation that will set aside $10 million from public funds and make it available for private school scholarships. I got on a Zoom call with Supporter Schools Nebraska President Tim Royers to hear how he feels about the lawsuit. They're so desperate to stop this vote from happening because they know that when the people weigh in on this issue, the people have consistently said they don't want public dollars going to private schools. Collar's lawsuit argues that voters can't revoke a law that appropriates funds for state expenses, saying it's prohibited by the Nebraska Constitution. She wants the Nebraska Supreme Court to stop the Secretary of State from putting it on the ballot. I contacted Collar's lawyers but haven't gotten a response. I understand where this parent is coming from, um, but if she has any right to be angry with anybody, it's not with us. It's about these groups that were not willing to help her until they got a favorable tax status. That's where her fight should be, not with us. Filings for the lawsuit are due on Monday. In Omaha, I'm Hannah McElroy.